Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we are prepping for the launch of Destiny. And if you think a prepping video is silly, just wait till you have to hear what I'm going to talk about. There's a lot you actually need to think about and prepare for. I mean, you don't have to. The game has been designed very well so that anybody can just jump in and start playing. But there is a lot of interesting stuff that might save you some time or might give you a more enjoyable and streamlined experience if you do a tiny bit of research, most of which I'm going to do for you right now. Now first things first, if you haven't seen all the cool trailers to get you hyped up, make sure you watch them all. The latest live action Destiny trailer is amazing. I'll put a link to it in the video description, but you can't miss that one. I absolutely love live action video game trailers that are done really well. Now other than that, the first and most crucial step to streamlining your Destiny experience is to create a Bungie.net account. Now if you have been playing the Halo games in the past, you probably already have a Bungie.net account, but if you don't have one, you can go on Bungie.net. Net. You can make an account, you can link it with your PSN account or your Xbox account, and it should all streamline together and work seamlessly. One cool thing about having this account now, though, is that you can plug in all these cool little hidden codes that people have been finding around the Destiny lore, and that'll unlock new emblems for you in-game. So they've kind of turned it into a bit of a treasure hunt to get new emblems and even some custom shaders for your character. If you want to know what the current list is or the current collection of these little codes are, I'm going to put a link to a reddit post in the video description and that should get you caught up to speed on all the cool unlocks. The other really cool thing about having a Bungie.net account is it's a good way to find groups of players to play with. Basically you can join an organization, a clan, a guild, whatever you want to call it, and play with those players out there. Enjoy the game more. Games are always more fun with friends, but one of the really cool aspects of Destiny are going to be raids, which are three player activities. You're going to want a pretty tight knit group of players to go through those raids because there's going to be some very epic loot, some exclusive loot to raids that you can only get while doing those events and that's going to really help you build your character make them more powerful possibly do a lot better in all aspects of P of destiny whether or not it's pve or pvp and speaking of which there's going to be a lot of ways to approach this game some players are probably just going to want to do pve stuff run missions play the storylines do the lore try and get all the best gear for their classes some players are just going to want to do pvp exclusively and of course players like myself are going to want a good hybrid of both but one of the main things you're going to want to think about perhaps before you start playing is what class is going to best facilitate what you're interested in. Rumors have it that perhaps the hunter is going to be really great for PvP if you are an amazing marksman and can really stand behind your aim, accuracy, and skills. On the other hand, the Titan is going to have some really cool abilities for buffing your teammates, which could be extremely useful for the PvE element of the game. Warlock, on the other hand, has some great ranged AoE attacks, which frankly are going to be awesome for both PvE and PvP. I think I'm probably going to start off with the Warlock class, but you know what, it's still up in the air at this point and I could change my mind last minute. Some good things to know before getting involved with the PvP element of Destiny is that you can actually get rewards and experience by completing basically bounties which you can get in the tower. Depending on who you talk to, you can get different kinds of bounties which are basically just achievements or challenges. And not only will you gain extra experience to help rank up your character through PvP missions, but you'll also gain favor with different factions that's going to allow you to trade in that favor for a cool items, gear, loot, even some really high level stuff maybe later on. And basically, before you start doing PvP, you might want to think about what factions you want to focus on or align yourself with. In the long run, it doesn't actually matter too much. You can gain a lot of favor with a lot of different factions and get a lot of different faction gear, but it might really pay off to focus on one specific faction from the beginning. Maybe look at some of the gear that they offer for some of the high level stuff and align yourself with them from the start and then start building up that kind of favor. And if you like the role playing and lore aspect of Destiny, you can certainly pick a faction based on their political beliefs. There's some factions that just want to leave the planet and run away from all the ensuing darkness. There's some factions that really want to fight and they believe in war and unending war. It's kind of interesting and you can research them a little bit and align yourself based on that. Now, if you've bought this game digitally, I highly recommend trying to do a pre-download of the game. You should be able to do it now if you have a PlayStation 4. This is going to basically reduce 
server stress on the PlayStation Network when the game first comes out. When there are any massive title launches like this, you can almost guarantee some server downtime, which is a real bummer, and if we can avoid that by pre-downloading the game, then that would be absolutely great. So if you do have the PS4, if you get a digital download, go do that now, right now while you're watching this video, and let's avoid some of that server downtime that is probably going to happen anyway. And lastly, I will be playing Destiny on the launch day, I believe with the Squirrels Nuts and Matimio. I'm going to try and do some streaming, but if that falls through, then I can't promise anything. I'm just going to say that I'm going to try and do some streaming. We're going to be playing through the campaign, so if you want to see some of that, and there's going to be plenty of Destiny content later this week. As always, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off. <laughs>